what's up you guys? So if you're new here, my name is Tara and I teach you guys how to make skincare products. So not only do I make skincare products, I also sell them. A while back, I did a video on how to price handmade goods. And in that video, I mentioned that you need to figure out how much it costs to make your product. So since then, I get a lot of questions from you guys asking me how to figure that out. So today we're gonna to sit down and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to come up with the cost for the items you make. So the first thing you need to do is figure out how much your ingredients cost in grams. So let's take a look here at my computer. Now, this, this is gonna get confusing, so really pay attention. I'll try to go slow and explain things as, as well as I can. And if it doesn't make sense, rewatch the video and hopefully it'll make sense the second time around. Okay, so I literally have an entire graph saved on my computer of how much all my ingredients cost in grams and in ounces. That way when I go to make a new product, I can literally just times the grams by however many grams I used in my product. And I'll show you guys how you can come up with this graph yourself. So here is a little invoice of ingredients I purchased from Formulator Sample Shop. And I paid a total of $8.99 in shipping for seven items. And that's it's really important because you want to make sure you incorporate your shipping prices in with your prices of your ingredients. That way you're not cut short for paying for your shipping because you need to be paid for everything you purchase because owning a business, it can get tricky making an income so you want to make sure you're not selling yourself short with anything at all. So the first thing we want to do is divide $8.99 by these seven items. That way we incorporate a little bit of the shipping cost into each item. So I'm dividing 8.99 by seven, which equals 128. So we need, know we need to add a dollar and 28 cents to each item. First, we need to start by adding 128 to 11, which equals 12.28. The next thing we need to do is figure out how many grams are in eight ounces, because we're typically, for the most part, at least me, I always work in grams with my formulations. So I like knowing how much my ingredient costs in grams rather than ounces. Eight ounces equals 226 grams. And I figured this out literally just by Googling how many grams are in eight ounces because I don't want to do math where I don't have to, so I literally just Google it. And it's technically 226.79, but I'm gonna round down. Now we know 226 grams of Allentoin costs 1228. So the next thing we wanna do is figure out how much one gram of Allentoin costs. So what we're gonna do is divide 1228 because that's the cost of the total amount of Allentoin and divide it by 226, which equals 0 0.05. So one gram of Allentoin equals 0 0.05. So here's where it might get confusing. Make sure you check your work, all right? So since one gram of Allentoin equals 0 0.05, we need to see if we times 0 0.05 by 226 if it equals 1228. All right, check your work. So 0 0.05 times 226, it equals 1130. So what we need to do next is add a five at the end because it's half of a penny. Because right now it's five cents, so now we're adding a half to the penny. I know. It goes down to the very slightest decimal, but you don't want to cheat yourself. So now what we're going to do is 0 0.055 times 226. Now this equals 1243, so it's over a little bit. So let's try 0 0.054 to see if this works. So 0 0.054 times 226. This equals 1220, so it's a little too short. Even though it's only eight cents, it's still too short. So I'm gonna keep this 0 0.055. So now we know one gram of Allentoin costs 0 0.055, so technically five and a half cents. So we're gonna go over here to our chart. This is called Numbers. This is a uh, software if you own a Mac. If you have Windows, I'm not really sure if they have like a graph software. Um, I don't know, let me know down in the comments if they do. If not, you can probably download some sort of like graph software to save to your computer or figure out some way to have some sort of graph 
to save all the costs of your ingredients there. So I'm typing in 0.055 and now we know one gram of Allen coin is 0.055. And if you want, you can go ahead and figure out the ounces. I don't really pay attention to the ounces unless it comes to like bigger things like foaming apple and stuff. But for the sake of this video, let's do it. How many grams are in an ounce? If you don't know, let's just Google it. How many grams are in an ounce? 28.34. So what we're gonna do is take 0.055 and times it by 28. So now we know one ounce of Allentoin equals 1.54. And again, you can check your work by taking 1.54 and dividing it by 28. 0 0.06, so my calculator is rounding up, but that's okay. All right, so let's do this again with foaming apple. So we paid $1.28 for shipping for each item. So we need to add $1.28 to the $31. This equals $32.28. And I got a total of 2.2 pounds. So how many grams are in 2.2 pounds? Let's Google it. And the answer is 997. So now we need to figure out how much one gram equals. So how are we gonna do this? I feel like Dora <laughs> asking, asking people questions who aren't really there. All right, so what we're going to do now is take 32.28 and divide it by 997, which equals 0.03. All right, so now we wanna check our work. So take 0.03 and times it by 997. This equals 29.91, so that's not enough. Let's add a five at the end. 0 0.035 times 997. That equals 34.90, that's a little too high. 0 0.034 times 997 equals 33.9, still a little too high. So let's do 0 0.033 times 997. That equals 32.90. So if we go down to a two, it'll, not, it'll be a little too low. So let's keep it 0 0.033. So now we know one gram of uh, foaming apple equals 0 0.033. And if you want to put in the ounces, then just go ahead and take 0 0.033 and times it by 28. So one ounce equals 92 cents. All right, let's do this again to see, you know, let's just do it again. All right. So we have green tea extract. We paid $19 for it, so we need to add in 128. 20, 28, and we bought a total of eight ounces. So we know from up here, eight ounces equals 226 grams. Now we need to figure out how much one gram of green tea extract cost. So what do we do? We take 20.28 and divide it by 226, which equals 0 0.09. So let's check our work and take 0 0.09 and times it by 226. It equals 2034. So yay, that one's perfect. So one gram of green tea extract equals 0 0.09. And then again, just take 0 0.09 times it by 28 and one ounce of it costs 2.52. Now, okay, so this is something I wanna talk about. So 2.52, let's take that and times it by eight to see what that equals. It equals 20.16. So it's a little, little too low, but when you take 0 0.09 and times it by 226, it's 2034. This is why I typically like to work in grams more than ounces because ounces is just too big of an increment and you don't get more of a precise number as you would with grams. So there's that. And honestly, I just don't like working in ounces. So I don't even know why I put this on here. Let's just, let's just, let's just delete this. So in this next part, I showed you guys how to calculate the cost of the willow bark extract. I felt like three examples was good enough. So I didn't add this one in because the video was way too long, but I ended up finding that one gram of willow bark equals nine cents. Willow bark extract, one gram of it costs 0 0.09. 
If you guys want to, go ahead and pause the video and try to calculate all of these and see what your answer is and then see if it matches my answer. So I'm gonna pause this, calculate the rest of them, and then you also pause this, calculate the rest of them, and see if your answers equal my answer. All right, let's do this. All right, so did you guys pause it and do this? Cause I did. All right, so let's go over the answers class. So GeoGuard is 0.162. How'd you do? Did you get it right? Did you get it wrong? Let's um, talk over a couple things. Uh, did you make sure you added the shipping cost into the total? And did you use a total of 28 grams? And did you check your work and see if you needed to add a, another little number after the decimal? And again, hydrolyzed rice protein equals 0 0.064. Again, did you add in the shipping? Did you do a total of 226 grams? Did you check your work and add an extra number after the six? And then for niacinamide, it equals 0 0.051. This one you didn't have to calculate, it already said 500 grams right here. And did you make sure you added in $1.28 for shipping? And also, did you go back and check your work and times 0 0.05 by 500 and get like a smaller number and then end up having to add a one at the end? Because that's what I did. So here are all your answers. So now you have a little graph of how much one gram of each ingredient cost. So anytime you're making anything, you can just bam, wham, bam. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. I know it's really confusing, but just go back and rewatch this video if it didn't make sense to you. But like I mentioned, I always like to have a whole graph saved on my computer of all the ingredients I work with and how much one gram of them cost. So every time I go to formulate a new product, I can just pull up that graph and times the total amount of grams in my product by how much the grams cost to find the price of the item. Hope that made sense. So when I go to repurchase my ingredients, I always calculate the cost before, including the shipping obviously, before I go to actually purchase it. That way it's within the same price point as I paid before. So the cosmetics that I'm selling are obviously within the same price points because I don't wanna to have to go through and reprice my items every time I buy new ingredients because that that's not cool. Can't do that, businesses can't do that. So um, I always calculate the cost of my ingredients to make sure it's within the same price point. And if my ingredient seems to be costing more, then I will add more additional items to my cart to make that total amount of shipping cheaper for the item. Because like I said, every time you go to purchase something, you need to include the cost of shipping. And typically that is what's making the product more expensive because sometimes I'm out of stock of just like three ingredients and I need to go purchase them. And I need to incorporate the cost of shipping into just those three ingredients and it might be way too expensive because it's only three ingredients. So I either will have to buy more stuff or I'll just have to wait and be out of stock of those ingredients until I need more ingredients. So there's a little advice to you guys if you're selling cosmetics. Obviously, if you don't sell cosmetics, the prices probably don't matter too much to you, or maybe it does because you're on a budget. Um, just always remember, the more you buy at once, typically the cheaper your shipping is going to be. Sometimes I'll play around with it, and I'll like add different things to my cart just to see how much more it bumps up. Sometimes I'll take things out to see how much it bumps down, and I'll just keep toying around with the cart and prices to you know, try to get the best deal. I'll compare prices to all different suppliers and see what the best deal is to make sure you know I'm getting my money's worth because some ingredients are cheaper from some suppliers and sometimes ingredients are more expensive from other suppliers. Just because an ingredient is more expensive at one supplier, it doesn't mean it's going to end up being more expensive because they're shipping might have a better price point. That's something to keep in mind. I noticed Formulator Sample Shop, a lot of their ingredients is like maybe a dollar or two more than other websites, but their shipping is so cheap, it ends up making the ingredients cheaper. So keep that in mind when you're shopping around. Compare prices everywhere and always include the shipping because the shipping can really make or break a sale for me because yeah, sometimes it makes my ingredients way too expensive. But yeah, so I hope this made sense to you guys. I know it's a lot. Like I said, just go back, rewatch this video until it makes sense, take notes, and just like really absorb it as much as you possibly can because I think this is the best way I could have explained it to you guys by giving you guys a physical, like, you know, screen recording of what I'm doing. Um, 
But yeah, so after I post this video, I think I'm going to remake my video on how to price handmade goods because that video is like really old and for some reason I look like I'm like crying in it. I think I might have had a cold or something because my eyes are like really like watery or red looking. I don't even, I don't know what was going on in that video. So I think I'm going to remake my video on how to price handmade goods and then link to this video in the description box so you guys can like put them all together, you know? Um, but yeah. So if you are wondering how to price handmade goods, I do have a video already made all about that. I'll link it down below. That way you can incorporate this video with that video. And if you guys want to see a video on how to sell on wholesale, let me know about that too because I do sell on wholesale and I have gotten questions about that in the past. So let me know if you guys would like to see a video on that. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, if it's confusing, rewatch it as many times as you possibly can until it makes sense because I promise it will eventually. It sounds confusing, but it's really not that confusing. So now that we reached the end of this video, it is time for my Patreon shoutouts. Stardust Bath and Body over on Instagram, Nature's Farm Girl at naturesfarmgirl.com, Kennedy's Essentials at kennedysessentials.net, Let's Blend at letsblend.bigcartel.com, Creative with Love at creativewithlove.me, Wallflower Wildflower at wallflowerwildflower.com, Heartfelt Beauty here on YouTube if you want some more formulating videos, Sugared underscore Pineapple over on Instagram, KAJ Bath and Body over on Etsy, Blue Mint Soaps at BlueMintSoaps.com and Satara here on YouTube. Also, I sell products myself over on Etsy if you guys want to go check them out. All my patrons and my Etsy shop will be linked down in my description box. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day and hope to see you guys next time. I'm stuck in the motions I've been consumed by the wrath of time like I'm from I'm shattered in this life It's still the path that I've chosen I'm